Hey everybody, I'm Pass More Nope, and welcome back to Mega Man X2. Last time we took on Overdrive Ostrich and took him down with the relative ease, only dying once, like a true pro. Uh, we also collected a hard tank, and today we're gonna take on Flame Stag. And as you can see, we have one of those uh, special uh, what are they? They are called X Hunters. And a uh, little known fact: there's actually gonna be a fourth X Hunter that was gonna be female. Why was she cut? I, I, I seriously don't know. But anyway, uh, since we have one in this level, I'll go ahead and try to fight her. her. Oh, I just said there were no females anymore. I'll try to fight him. <laughs> um, and did I already miss something? Possibly. Uh, I know I want to ride these uh, little beetles somewhere if I can. Let's see. Can I get him to respawn? Probably not. Boy, did I screw up already? Oh, well. If I did, I'll come back and do it over. But for now, let's continue on. So yeah, these uh, Maverick, or X Hunters, sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that mixed up so much. It's like the uh, Power Cell Precursor Orb thing from Jack and Daxter. Oh, right, you want to keep your eye out during this part for... That's right, Heart Tank number two. And you want to keep going up here. Uh, that lava will not kill you. It's not an instant hit or an instant kill. It'll just uh, it'll just damage you. So, you know, don't get too anxious there. Oh my God, are you kidding? I hope that okay. I was about to say I hope it comes back. Let's see if we can ride this one. If I can actually get on him. Are you joking? I did not want that to happen. Well, let's get this health up here. Um. Well, you know what? Hold on, hold on. I want to see if I can get this beetle to spawn again. What? What kind of bad luck is that? Both beetles die on me when I did not want them to. Okay, I forgot to see who warped here, but we're going to take them on anyway. Who we got? Oh, this guy. Uh, this one is Surges. He's the leader, I believe. So let's see. They want to... Unification. They want to unify something. Not sure what. Fortunately, once you get uh, the... X-Buster upgrade, these guys become a lot easier, so it's fortunate that we get it so early. See, we're doing tons of damage. Um, and I do believe that the uh, the two hits you do, yeah, see, the damage kind of stacks, so even though he's got the invincibility frame, doesn't matter. And we're also going to destroy the landmines he starts to lay. Oops. He can be kind of hard to dodge, but... Uh, Eh, not too bad. Just give yourself plenty of room, stay back, and the uh, beams will eventually open up. Whoop, man, he's, he's a jumping fool. Oh, we just destroyed the mine he was laying, we didn't actually hurt him. Okay, here we go, should be one more hit. Or, one more hit now. Aw, oh, crap, aw, oh, crap. Crap, die now. There we go. <laughs> That was embarrassingly close. Like all my fights seem to be going lately. Okay, well, got him. You don't get anything special for defeating him, sadly. Did I say nothing? I meant you get zero parts. We got part number one. Uh, which part is that, you might ask? We got his head. See in the uh, bottom right there. Let's see if that beetle... No, of course not. What about if I come down here? Oh, oh, he's back. All right, let's see if he'll take us somewhere. No, of course not. You have to do the... It's the one at the beginning that leads you to the secret, but we need health, so let's try to get him down here. There we go. Good enough for me. So, let's jump across here. I don't know what is up there, to be honest, but it's nothing important. <laughs> I usually just skip it. I mean, there is a life up there. Oh, I hate this part. So you have these gas vents, and then this guy is going to come and just ruin your day. He's going to ignite everything. Uh, no, yeah. He always seems to be positioned to hit you, no matter what. I say that, and then I only get hit once. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Prove me wrong. There we go, that guy. That guy's annoying. There we go, he's probably going to respawn too, isn't he? No? Okay. Okay, that was way less annoying than I thought it was for some reason. Alright, we have uh, the 
Well, the boss transition room, you know what that means. It is boss time. Let's get our Sonic Slicer ready, because uh, I'm almost certain that that's this guy's weakness. Oh, yeah. This guy looks pretty cool, too. I say that about a lot. But hey, what can I say? X has, uh, Mega Man X has good enemy, enemy designs. Let's see if we can't, uh... Yeah, if you try to play along the wall. There we go. Is that his actually his weakness? I can't even really tell. Yeah, it's kind of working. Yeah, careful. Don't hug the wall too much. Ugh. Oh shoot, how'd that miss him? Ah, oh, man. Keep missing him. Oh, I get so nerve-wracking when he's on the wall like that. Crap. You can never tell if he's gonna dash up the wall at you or not. <laughs> it becomes hard to read him. And yeah, the second part of uh, the fight, his flames turn blue. I don't know what all that means exactly, but uh, it's, it's probably not good. Oh no, oh no, we're out of power. Okay. Take a breather here. <laughs> Switch to my X Buster. Oh shoot! Oh, God, I got one more hit. Oh boy. Oh man, I did not dash correctly. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Sadly, completely without our weakness, our Sonic Slicer, but our our X Buster, nice and upgraded, should be enough, hopefully. And uh, maybe I can do some better dodging this time. Who knows? Okay. Good good start to the match there. It's completely missing. Why not? Ah, oh, I get hit twice. Are you kidding? Three times. Oh my god. Yeah, you see now you have you're kinda of delayed when you want to do the double shot. So you gotta really be careful. Ah, oh, I could not jump up quick enough. Ugh, this is not going well. Ah, uh, don't hit it. Oh, man. Get hit twice. What a noob. No. Oh. I grabbed the wall wrong. Oh, how do you like that? Fucking great. I'll cut back to when I'm at him again, and I swear I won't die a third time. <laughs> Actually, real quick while I'm here, let's get this beetle back and ride him up, and this one should lead us to a secret be right up here there we go our first sub tank of the game that'll really come in handy so I'll meet you back at the boss all right we are back Ugh, I can't believe I died twice in this guy that's gonna be that though so yep I was gonna say fire a couple shots and get up there but no because he's gonna jump first I can't believe I ran into him midair man come on yeah the awkward floatiness of this weapon kind of works against them, kind of not. It, it, I don't know. It comes down to timing. There we go. See, if you hug the wall, he has a chance of doing that. Ugh. There we go. You kind of trick him into doing it. Ah, oh, shoot. But yeah, if you don't hug the wall, then don't jump too far out, because it's just so much to remember for, you know, one little scene. I don't even know. Is this really this guy's weakness? He doesn't seem to do that much damage compared to... You know, how fast the weapon itself is draining. He's ready. There we go. Okay. One more for him there. There we go. Wow, we... <laughs> it's like every boss I need, like, a warm-up round, and then I just completely own him. There we go. That's that. I didn't have to use my sub-tank. I filled it, you know, part way. That one took almost ten minutes. I can't believe that. But we got we knocked out you know two bosses there, uh, one being the X Hunter surges. Uh, no, he's definitely not the hardest. I don't think. I think the big fat one is the hardest. But what did we get from this guy? You got Speed Burner. That's what you got. All right. And now that we have the X upgrade or the X buck 
uh, X Buster upgrade and this, we can go back and get something that we missed. Is that right? Uh, my notes say to go back to both the Gator and the Ostrich level. Alright, Ostrich only if you haven't already gotten the um, hard tank. And I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate why that is when I get what we're going to get here. Here we go, just got to make our way back through. Ain't no thing. Alright, come back down. Uh, let's see. We'll have to go back through the right armor part. I can't quite remember, but I, I don't think the right armor plays a, you know, a very big role in this game. X3, for some reason, places a big emphasis on them. Even though they're, I don't know. There are a few, like, cool sections with them, but otherwise, it's just nothing to write home about, really. Whoa, we almost dashed off the edge there. Like I said before, this is a cool way to upgrade the uh, right armor to give them floaty boots. Alright, so, couldn't get this before, now let's do this, charge it up, jump up high, dash, do that, and boom! <laughs> yeah, you get uh, like a second mid-air dash with this weapon. So you see, now you can uh, go to Ostrich's level and uh, do the same thing, but do it down the corridor of spikes, and you'll be able to get the heart tank, and of course die at the end. And with that, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.